Hey, hey, good morning, beautiful people. It's a new vlog right here. This is Montreal and we're staying here for three days and this is day three. So, so if you didn't see like a couple of uh, two before, so just check this out. It's already should be on my channel. At the same time, I have shown Biodome, which actually you also you can find and check this out on my channel. It's, it was such a nice experience. So must have to visit, must have to see. And I would I would love to recommend you guys to check this out. It's already on my channel. And today I hey guys, we, we've got so much plans for today. So we're going to explore again this old Montreal, but in the daytime. And we're going to show in this video Notre Dame. So it's kind of a must-have to visit place. I, I I believe I probably am going to go inside just to show you guys. I didn't have this plan, but for this video I probably will do it. That's why I love to make this luck, you know, with like it's like a win-win situation. I'm showing this place for you as well as I'm experiencing it myself. And today we're going to hunt the best ever poutine ever here in Montreal because actually this is the place where this poutine was born, you know. So, so we don't have any chance to not try it in here in Montreal. So that's why it's going to be this day. And yeah, we're going to check, check out this um, island with, uh, with a sphere, you know, and old Montreal pretty close, you just need to go and and just explore this area. Completely different experience you will get just going like maybe 15 minutes away from the hotel, you will get this experience with old Europe. I'm here from Europe and that actually that's why it's, I'm, I was searching exactly for this experience here in Canada because I, I missed for this uh, vibe like, like I used to see in Europe, you know, like staying in either Italy, for example, in Berlin like Germany, um, I, I haven't visited France so, France so far, so that's why I can't compare. But anyway, you will get this experience just by exploring this old Europe, old Montreal, and that's why exactly what we're going to do today. And we're going to show you some different places in the daytime. So just stay tuned, it's going to be fun, and thank you for watching this one. First time trying this Nespresso coffee from this machine, actually, it was pretty pleasant to, to get this one in here. This is for Tissio Lungo. I'm not sure if it's saying it correctly, and not sure what happened to my forehead today. But yeah, so let's try it. It's pretty decent, guys. Yeah, this place looks like a pretty nice place to explore. This biosphere is just behind me, and I believe you should pay something to, to get explored this from inside. This giant chair to get a nice insta-looking pictures, and all this lovely park and park like all this over here around me. And yeah, looks like this weather getting better because yesterday it was a raining day. With, uh, it was exactly the day when we were exploring this biodome. And this video already on my channel. And yeah, guys, some another point to explore. I just wanna be with you, yeah. 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 I just wanna dance all night, forget my 
Such a lovely place we found over here. See, it's just nice, cool environment with all this croissant coffee, just iconic coffee in here. And it's just next to this Notre Dame. So, must have to visit this place. And I'm gonna share this link under this video, you will find it easily. So, yeah, guys, enjoy. Hey guys, so yeah, let's talk about this experience of having this poutine first of a time in Montreal. So this place, it looks like it's pretty popular because it's, we, we found like few uh, available tables, you know, just it was almost fully accomplished. You know guys, about this uh, poutine, because I, I'm trying to find some tasty one, you know, and it was, this one exactly, it was like overcooked, uh, in, in, in my personal opinion. It was like dark gray and it's, it's actually it was like fatty and the same was for fries you know like my personal orientation if i have a good fries with no poutine you know with no cheese and stuff and, and if it's good so poutine should be also just absolutely okay but in this case it was overcooked and that's actually impacted this uh, taste of this food you know this dish and, but the price was pretty much affordable and this is a nice environment, all this design, all this idea, nice stuff working there. And, you know, just for example, I was asking about hot dog, hot dog for my son. And actually, I forgot to mention, like, to not get any sauce or ketchup. So, but yeah, anyway, I've got this hot dog and my, my son just doesn't like it, you know. So that's why it was immediately replaced with another one with just only sausage and bread, you know, guys, in, just for free. So it's kind of nice and yeah, it's pretty affordable. I believe 
you can visit this one so i'm going to let this link uh, for for each place what we're actually visiting i'm going to leave some links under this video and yeah so just in here see this is like water front line this is place called old port and it's not working anymore and i believe it's just uh, these parks over here just uh, trying to take care about this place but it's not working uh, right now you know guys so and see from here you can see this whole this old montreal the same with downtown so close to to this place that's why it's so special you know to try to combine this old looking Mo montreal it's pretty old buildings you know guys it's like a couple of hundreds year, uh, years and that's actually just insane you know guys to have all this in montreal uh, that's why actually i understand why people love the city you know because of this vibe this europe vibe in here in the middle of montreal this is ju guys just a gorgeous view from here you know how it's possible to uh, to keep everything here it's just yeah, it's worth to visit so yeah guys enjoy your trip when you're going to do the same So this is definitely a kind of place and must have to visit because it's all port, just close to waterline. And yeah, guys, just this Montreal city. By the way, if you didn't know, it's, uh, it's a couple of versions why it's actually called Montreal, because one of them is actually like the mountain of Royal, mountain Royal. So that's why it's Montreal. It's like became Montreal. And another name, it was uh, Ville Marie. Which actually also like another name it was it used to be before and if you didn't know by the way it's uh, a long time ago it was actually a capital of canada the same then it's uh, if you didn't know toronto as well it was the capital capital of uh, canada and now it's ottawa of course if you didn't know so yeah just just for for your information guys I guess if you wonder how to get some souvenirs so actually like this place sounds like a good like a good one to get some it's an affordable price and a bunch of options actually you can get from here this is just for orientation you can get this place and you should be just okay So if you didn't know, my wife actually, she's French speaker, French speaker, French speaker. And she's trying to teach me how to pronounce bonjour. So I'm doing this like bonjour, bonjour. How to correct it, say? Bonjour. Once again? Bonjour. 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 Looks like I'm not going to be a good French speaker. Bonjour. Once again? Bonjour. Bonjour. It's much better. Bonjour. Bonjour. Even my son doing it's better than me.
Okay, yeah, just some special fishing here and this hole over there, this pool. Let's check this out. Pool over here. So actually like it's more like feel like a resort, you know. And while my wife are teaching my son to swim in this pool, I'm actually like working here as a lifeguard. Lifeguard on the duty, you know. So I think that's kinda 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 cool place. Uh, so actually I just want to say a couple of words again about this uh, Vietnamese cuisine. Which actually like extremely good, you know. Uh, this today I've got this uh, grilled chicken with rice, and it was kind of awesome, guys. I should say it's probably my the best so far here in Macho. Okay, guys, unexpectedly, it's uh, over here, this is St. Catherine's, and this is extremely beautiful beach called Sunset Beach. In It's like 20 minutes away from Niagara. Just take a look, guys. S September 2nd, uh, 22nd. So, yeah, it took me a while to make this video for you guys. And actually, I'm wrapping up. It's, uh, if, if, you, <laughs> if it's interesting to you, so actually, it's like the water right now, I believe, like passage of 21, and the air, like 25 at least. It was pretty sunny, maybe like 30 minutes ago, but now it's like uh, the sun just covered it with the clouds. And yeah, guys, I'm wrapping up. And uh, thank you guys for watching these uh, three episodes about my experience of exploring Montreal. And I should say it's mixed blend of some thoughts about this uh, Quebec, beautiful city Montreal. So I believe I will not go to downtown like trying to to get these vibes, so this. Uh, true vibes of Montreal. This is not about downtown, definitely. Old Montreal, maybe like uh, a bunch of more beautiful places which you can explore. Uh, maybe downtown, not some best place what I, what I like in this trip. The, I mean downtown Montreal. But overall, this is a really good experience. This is must have to visit. And I've got this feelings of some small Europe, just, just uh, in this Montreal and I strongly recommend to do you guys the same it's definitely worth it to spend like a couple of days in Montreal maybe even one week and beautiful people beautiful places beautiful food this French sound this uh, this music of French language is just just so nice guys I like it and yeah guys thank you for watching this one never stop being exploring and I will tr try to catch you in the next one bye bye peace out
obstruction, rush the bed case, levitate, got it tatted on me, told them follow me, they see the vision, now it's 2020, clear as tile, lace is clear as day, no longer move around in fear, disarray, pray you hear me like the winter wind against your window pane.